guys. Ooh, my mic is in that one. Alright, so I literally just woke up, so there probably isn't gonna be a webcam. I sure isn't gonna be a webcam. But I'm just looking at some of these pictures. And just from like tweets I heard, there's apparently something about new forms. And I don't know what this is, but this seems like bigger news than when Mega Evolution was dropped. And so I just knew I had to recover it. Ugh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I, w I literally like got woke up by my phone just going off and then woke up and I was like crap I need to get on this. So it looks like there's a new trailer. Let's get on that. Oh god. Oh. You mute. Alright. I think we're good. Executor. Alola for what the heck are you? Grass Dragon, this is awesome! What the heck are you? What? What is this? Ice! Fairy? What? What? What is this? This looks freaking awesome. How's this gonna work? So, what are you two? I mean, ice types? Still ice! That's cool! Oh my god! What? I don't know what to say. New Pokemon! Oricorio's Ori unique styles. Wait. I'm gonna pause this real quick. What? Oh, is this like a new Pokemon that changes forms? I like that one. Fire flying. Um, this is that is really cool. Oh my god! Ghost flying. That's cool. On each. Oh, I really like the fire flying one. And the ghost one's cool. Game freak, what are you doing? Copy everyone's dance moves. Quiver dance? Oh, is that what its ability is? Yo, that's pretty good, actually. That is awesome. What are you? What are you? Minior? <laughs> you look like Soul Rocket Lunatune put together. Shields down. Oh, is it like... Oh. My. God. What? Jump! His final form! Gum shoes! Oh my gosh, I like him. <laughs> oh my god, four mantis. Is this a prey mantis one? Oh my gosh, I love it. Lurantis. I like it. Oh, I'm so tired. What is this news? I love it. Oh. Praying Mantis Pokemon. Solar Blade! That poor nose pest. What? My Bray! You're adorable! Ugh. I kinda wish I got face cam now so you can see me just can look like an idiot while I freak out about this. <laughs> hey, Mudsdale, we get a ride him. Whoa. <gasps> I can ride my Charizard. The right of passage. Mallow. Wait. Is this where the gems are here? Was that theory right? Whoa! What? Totem gum shoes. Oh my. 
I don't know what to say. Is that a Pokemon controlling a Pokemon? No. What the Hang on guys, I gotta pause this. Oh no! I am back. Now let me rewind this just a bit. Battle of the Kahunas. Alright, holla. Alright, I kind of I figured this would happen. New way to attack. Alright, so I'm gonna explain this. Z power. Dragon Ball Z. Giga Vol Havoc. No! Sandshrew! Bloom Doom. I like this one. Inferno Overdrive. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> it just blew up. This has turned into Dragon Ball Z. Alright, I don't know if I like to bear Poplios or Rallets. Wow! That just happened. Oh my gosh. Alright, so there's Mudbray. Call on the services of Ride Pokemon. Okay. So you like to fly on Charizard. So they did get rid of gym leaders. Kinda. These are basically like the replacement for gym leaders, aren't they? Huh. Interesting. Alright, so I'm done with the trailer. So gym leaders are being replaced, I think that's what it means. Cause there was a theory since, oh, we can't find any places that looks like they could 100% be a gym. So people thought gym lead, um, gyms would just be replaced. Which is interesting. Huh. I don't know what to really feel about that. This mess, I really don't know how to feel about. <laughs> so let's see, sir. It says, so they be, okay. The latest trailer for Pokemon Cinnamon has been released for the Pokemon Company. This trailer reveals a lot of new Pokemon features in the game. First, they reveal Alola forms. Okay. These are new variations of classic Pokemon. Executor's Grass Dragon with the ability Frisk. Vulpix Ninetales is Ice Fair with Snow Cloak. Sandshrew and Sandsets are Ice Steel with also Snow Cloak. Their new Pokemon first is Oricorio with four different forms. Fire Flying, Electric Flying, Psychic Flying, and Ghost Flying. The ability is Dancer which copies dance moves. Mini or is rock flying. Oh, is rock flying? Huh. With the ability shield down, when shield down build with the shield down ability, it will have excellent defensive capabilities as long as its shield is intact. It also will be protected from stats energy, but when its HP drops below half, its shield will break and will change form better suited for attacking. Man, this generation I feel like is gonna be way more hype than X and Y. They're bringing so much new stuff, so many abilities, just, I don't know, I feel like a lot more hype with Cinnamon than I did with X and Y. X and Y's hype, for me, was mostly concerned like, oh my god, there's like some new Pokemon, okay, the usual. But then Mega Evolution came, and then that's where like most of the hype came from, that ended being on a 3D plane. So yeah, that was most hype up. With this, it just looks like... X and Y with Oris. Oris just kind of seemed like a better recode of X and Y going through um, Hoenn region. But Lola seems like X and Y on steroids. Like, it just seems so much more polished. I love the new engine on there. I just love everything about it. The new animations. Now they're bringing crap like this here. It's just... I don't know how to feel about it. It's just really awesome. Where was I at? 
So, yeah, Minior is kind of like a Ego Slash, where like he has a defensive form and an offensive form, except it's changed differently. It's kind of like Darmanitan the Zen mode, pretty much. So, Young Goose Evolution called Gumshoes. Normal type would stake out. Sorry <sighs> about that. Yeah. So, stake out and strong drawn just like Young Goose. Two new Pokemon are Formantis and its evolution Lurantis. They have the ability to Leaf Guard and the new move Solar Blade. Mud Cell pre evolution is ground type Mudbray. With own tempo and stamina, you can have various Pokemon using Poke Rides, allows you to travel on top of Pokemon like Charizard and Sharpedo. Z moves are utilized in a special bracelet that trainers have. I kind of, we all kind of figure that. The Z. Z ring fits on the trainer's arm, and the Z crystals are set into it. If a Pokemon holds the same variety as Z crystal, the two will be able to resonate with one another. Crystals that correspond with the Pokemon's type have been found in the lower region. There are two conditions for foreign Z moves: a Pokemon must learn a move of the same type as Z crystal, and it must be on the corresponding Z crystal. And when you see these moves in action in the game, each overwhelmingly powerful move will be on full display, filling the entire screen. A special bit of merchandise for Z ring will also be released, which will light up. In a tandem with you, Sun, Sun, and Moon. So people are thinking Mega Evolution is going to be replaced by whatever that crystal is going to be. I don't believe that. I don't think they're going to make, oh, Mega Evolution is just for Gen 3 remake and Gen 6. I think Evolution, Mega Evolution is staying. Will they add new Megas? I'm not exactly sure. My guess would be yes. But it's kind of strange we haven't gotten it yet. Maybe they're saving it all for like a surprise since, you know, Gen 3, they kind of revealed all of it at once. But if apparently some, I can't remember where I heard, it might have been from Game Explain actually. Um, basically it's like a little circle spot on the other side of the bracelet where it looks like a little, um, I don't know what the exact name is it, the keys, is it the keystone? I think it might be. Like the little stone that fits into the Mega Bracelet from X and Y. And, um. The Mega Bangle and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Basically, it looks like there's a little circle spot on the other side of the ring fit for a keystone to be put in there. So, people are thinking, oh, yeah, it's, it's returning, but people are kind of skeptical because they haven't shown anything. These new forms are awesome. I love, I don't really understand why Sandshrew and Sandslash turned to ice. Um, ice still. I can understand Vulpix and Ninetales turn into it, because, you know, there's obviously the Arctic Foxes, you know, that go around, and Ninetales is already kind of one of those Pokemon found in snowy areas and, like, other games like Mystery Dungeon stuff. The Executor goes from Smelly Pineapple to Smelly Pineapple Tree. <laughs> I like it. It's just, I like the animation where it just, like, took its whole neck back and just hit the Pokemon. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure where Sandshrews and Sandslash's inspiration are from. It might be just some cultural, um, it might just be a Hawaii thing that they're using, or something. Well, I doubt Hawaii has Arctic foxes, but... <laughs> I don't know where Sandslash and them. I don't think I know about hedgehogs being able to be in snow. And also, apparently, there's a way to get Arceus. So, in the United States... Can I get off topic? GameStop. Okay. Well, you guys in the United States, if you want to go to GameStop, there you go. Anyone else that lives anywhere else here is the way to get RCS. If you want to just pause the video, I was kind of want to throw that because that was also announced. But wow. So they freaking. I wonder how Z forms are going to change competitive play. And I wonder how expensive or expensive they're going to make it. Sorry guys, they're stinking. Anyway guys, tell me what you think about all this crazy news. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy and multi-harder.